Gabrielle. Nice to talk to you again. I talked to you a couple weeks ago for Gremlin. So awesome to talk to you about this. So, so nice Pandora is such a cool character. How would you say that you relate to Pandora and how would you say you guys are different? I would say that I relate to Pandora in the sense of we both value family, you know, like we both care for our family and we both um, try to make the best decisions possible, but we differ in the sense that I'm not going to run head on into danger. You know, I'm a, I'm a little more reserved when it comes to my safety. Pandora is definitely a little more out there when it comes to uh, her awareness of what could possibly happen to her. <laughs> If you had access to Marge and her plane, where would you go to right now? Now, right this second? Yes. Uh, uh, I think maybe I would go to Hawaii, right? Because it's peaceful and I really like the, what do you call them? The malasadas? They're, they're these little donuts that I'm, I've am i been obsessed with. Um, so I'd want to go there and I'd, I'd want to eat. <laughs> Do you have a favorite artifact that the family has encountered? Favorite artifact? Um, there was one episode where Russ was turned into a puppet, and I thought that was really, really cool. But besides that, I liked when there's an episode where the family gets shrunk. You know, we're really, really small, and I think that's so fun. Yeah, the I like to call it the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids episode. That was super cool. <laughs> That's why I like it, because I grew up with that movie, and I always wondered what it would be like to be very, very small. You know, my dog would definitely try and eat me. But besides that, I think it would be fun. Yes. Is that the episode? I was going to ask you if there's an episode that you would have loved to act it out. Would that be that episode, or is there another episode that you have loved to act it out? I... I think that one for sure, the one where we're really small, I would love for that one to be a live action because I've never worked on a film like that. And I would just be so invested in the, the behind the scenes of it. Like, do we make big set pieces? Is it CGI? How does it work? And can I take home one of the big set pieces? That would be the big question. What is something that you would love to have like an extra, extra, extra large version of? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that I would want to have maybe a big piece of fruit because, now hear me out, I did a show called All That when I was a kid. And on the show, I dressed up like a big steak. And so I have the costume in my house. It's a big steak. So I feel like I need another food item that's just really, really big. <laughs> I can see this. So you do so much voice acting and you also do live action acting. How does one help the other and vice versa? How does your live action acting help your voice roles and how does voice acting help your live action acting? I'm so glad you asked because it's it really is connected. I feel like being on camera teaches me something different about voice acting and vice versa. But as far as how my, my live action skills are translated into voice acting it's difficult because you can't see me but i i know what uh physicality that i need to help with the vocal print to help me sound out the scene per se and vice versa with voice acting and live action i think that knowing that i i came from an environment where you couldn't see me getting the opportunity to portray a character through my voice also helps in my live action just to add a different layer. But I, I really think that coming from live action and going to voiceover really has more of an impact than going backwards, if that makes sense, because you can't, you can't see my physical person. I don't know if that makes sense, but I think that my, my live action skills definitely help a little more with my voiceover skills. Yes. Um, a lot of time in um, animation, you're wearing the same outfit every day. If you were an animated character, what would be your animated outfit? And also, what would be your animated hair? Because you would have the same hair all the time as well. Oh, well, okay. So if I were animated, if my hair were animated, right? And I didn't have to do any maintenance because I would wake up the same way every day. I would, I would just have my curly hair, you know, because curly hair has a lot of maintenance like there's so many curl creams there's so many like diffusers and picks and all this stuff but if I could just wake up and it'll be flawless 
Perfect. I'm gonna pick that. Now, as far as an outfit's concerned, we must always look stylish, but we must be comfortable. So I feel like I would pick something that's functional, not too hot, but also warm in the winter time. And I would also, it would be a must to have sneakers. We must have sneakers. So that that would that would be what my fit would be. Maybe I guess a matching sweatsuit. I guess that's what I said in a roundabout way. <laughs> yes. Yes. I know this is kind of like picking like a favorite pet, but do you prefer Stanley or Larry? You're going to give me so much trouble. I can't. No, 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 no. Um, I like them both for different reasons, you know, because like, what do you mean you're just a head, man? Like you're rolling around and then vice versa, you're made of wood. So I got to, I got to pick both. I can't, I can't do one or the other. They're listening. I can't do that. <laughs> that is true. And they would both be, have hurt feelings. So I get it. I get it. And uh, what would you say was your favorite episode this season? This season, it would most definitely have to be the um, the shrinking episode where we were small and we were fighting Linda. But if I had to pick another one, I would say the first episode of this season. Just because like it kicks everything off. Yeah. And it's kind of sweet and weird that it's just like oh dad's here and then also it's just like russ is in high school that that threw me off because i'm like oh i guess so like it's weird that it's like oh we're going to school after we have all these adventures <laughs> yeah you're like interjected back into life yes awesome well congrats on everything i hope to talk to you soon again you're always booked and busy so hopefully we will so yeah i will talk to you soon and congrats again all right talk to you soon Okay, thank you. Bye.